Alright, so, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 just got leaked, right? Two images basically confirming some newcomers, like Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this one guy from Danny Phantom, though I forgot his name, Jimmy Neutron, and of course, Squidalius the third. Now, I'm not going to predict who's going to be included in the game, or say who I want to be included in the game, Mr. Krabs, please. I am here to talk about the one thing a lot of people have been speculating about the game, the story mode. And I have a prediction as to who the final boss may be. But first, I must set the stage. And here's my mock-up. Beautiful, I know. Now, a lot of people are speculating that the final boss of the game is going to be Vlad Plasbius from Danny Phantom. But that seems too easy. No, I think it's going to be a lot deeper than that. No, I think the final boss of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 is the Nickelodeon Foot. Yes, you heard it here first, folks. The Nickelodeon Foot is the final boss of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Now, is this foot sentient, like Master Hand? No. This foot is not sentient. It belongs to someone. And it belongs to none other than this orange character from Pinwheel. The very first Nickelodeon series. Now, this makes total sense. Sense. Think about it. If PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale can include the very first mascot of PlayStation as the final boss, then why wouldn't Nickelodeon include a character from the very first Nickelodeon TV series as the final boss of the game? Or it could be Dan Schneider with some weird orange stuff on his foot, but I don't think the game would sell well if this is 